everybody welcome back got a character review video for you electro or i guess maybe electra depending well no not electra it's electro but the female version of electro so uh the newest sinister six member who most people seem to think that is likely needed on this team that's the debate is what characters you're going to bring and she seems like one you're probably going to have to so we'll jump through the abilities, briefly touch on those T4s, nothing too elaborate because I saved that for the Punk Yeti collaborations. And uh, most importantly, we'll go through the stats to see how she ranks up. So let's go check out the abilities first. I got Bring me Wolverthor! All right, first up, Electro's basic, uh, pretty standard here, or pretty basic, basics, basic. <laughs> Attack primary target for 210% damage. It increases by 40% with a T4, plus fill speed bar for self by 20%. No T4 increase there. It's pretty, ba it's pretty basic, it's pretty simple. Nothing special here. Uh, it's gonna be your third turn ability if you're not using your ultimate or special. Speaking of special, uh, three short cooldown here, three energy, attack primary target for 260% damage plus bonus attack for 100% damage per positive effect on that target. So anybody who's got that pos uh, those positive effects on them, you want to make sure to use this ability on them. The T4s give an extra 40% the, for the damage and an additional 50% for the bonus attack damage. Not bad there, she's going to have pretty solid damage, so we'll see that in a second. Uh, but short short cooldown on the ability here Pretty hard hitting and especially if somebody's got positive effects. It's gonna be hitting really hard Ultimate chain lightning. This is your longer cooldown. This is a five uh, energy cooldown More than likely gonna be your first turn ability attack primary target for 300% piercing plus apply offense down for one turn Attack all enemies for 230% piercing plus apply apply offense down for one turn in war, clear all positive effects on the primary target and clear two positive effects on each secondary target. You gain, uh, what is that? 100,000 extra focus for this attack. Not percent, 100,000. This attack cannot be counterattacked. So if there's a bunch of counterattacks on the board, she's not going to get punged, pinged, punged, whatever you want to call it, a bunch of times. So the T4 here, it increases. What's that? Yeah, she's not going to get hit back a couple times. That's what that means. Uh, the T4s here, it increases the primary target damage by 50%. It also guarantees a two-turn offense down to that primary target. And it increases the piercing by 50%, as well as turning or giving the offense down for all the other targets for two turns instead of one. This is probably an essential T4, uh, just looking at it real briefly here without even doing the stats on the damage. The two-turn offense down, I can see that as being pretty nice the damage increase all the way across the board for multiple tunes and her high level damage increase, it's gonna be pretty nice. So uh, the Chain Lightning Ultimate, definitely good first turn and probably something we're gonna want a T4. Passive, now her passive is something we're gonna dive into a little bit here because the charge dynamic. On turn, gain one charge up to a maximum of five. In war, on an ally sinister six turn, gain one charge up to a maximum of five. So in war, she's gaining these these charges as well, right? At the end of any turn, if this character has five or more charged, attack the most injured enemy for 200% damage and lose five charge. Gain 10% piercing per charge. So it says at the end of any turn. The part that I'm interested about this one is, is it any person on the board, meaning enemies and uh, your own players, or is it just your, your, your team's turn? Either way, it's important to understand how she's gonna be building charges, right? So you see that she gets one charge on her turn, right? She doesn't have a dynamic here that said anything like th that starts on her turn, where she, I mean, where she spawns that she gets a bunch of charges. It's simply on turn, she gets one char charge. Where is she gonna get these other charges from outside of the war ally Sinister Six team? The answer is Dr. Octopus is special again. So we've covered this uh, when we were talking about um, Swarm. So on, on Dr. Octopus is special, it applies two to three, depending on the T4s you got, charge up to a maximum of 10 to self and all chargeable Sinister Six. Okay, that's, so you're getting at least two to three, depending when Doc Oct gets to use this special. He doesn't have anything in his passive, 
uh, that's given anything to these guys for charges. Um, on turn, if it's if he's charged, he gives some deflects and some speed ups. There's talks about block. Uh, it's talking about in war when he this character or a chargeable Sinister Six ally has certain health issues. It's about speed bar. And then it's a bunch of block and resistance, right? So really, for Electro, you're getting the three charges from Dr. Ock every time he uses a special to start. And then anytime somebody uses, anytime an ally Sinister Six ally goes. So the question is, is how quickly is Electro going to get her first charge? Now, depending on your team, we've got msf.gg here. Um, we've got, you look at your speed. Electro is the third quickest on this team. So you've got Vulture and Doc Ock going first. So with Doc Ock, she gets one. If you use the special, that means you're getting two to three more, right? So it's, let's just call it four. And then on Electro's turn, it should be five. So I don't know if that first turn, does she get it? Or is it because she gets a turn and then she gets the charge and has to wait for her next turn? So that's gonna be interesting. If you have Vulture on your team, then she's, when it gets to her turn, you got Vulture, Doc Ock, and then if you got the T4s, that's five. So with a T4 um, Doc Ock special, and you use Vulture, you're going to be able to use that uh, that kind of passive charge shot to the most injured ally or enemy on the other team. And then after that, it just depends, and it's gonna take a bit to stack up, but you can get one right off the bat if you build your team that way. So again, that's how the charge dynamic works for her. Now let's check her stats out to see how she ranks up compared to the other characters in the game. Okay, for those who are not familiar, I've got a gigantic spreadsheet that ranks all stats in the game for all the different characters. This stat sheet has got a baseline of level 75, seven yellow stars, four red stars, T14, 25% um, Stark Tech, and passive level four, according to msf.gg. And Electro comes in as the 20th ranked character in the game across the board as far as average stats go. You can see she, that average rank uh, stat-wise is 49, which is pretty solid. So that's what I always like to do with this as well. Yeah, but did she have the ones that matter to her, right? So health, that always matters because you want someone to stick around. She ranks 87th there. It's about midway, a little bit worse, 157K. Damage, that's what you want to see. Is she's ranked seventh in the game with damage, and that's almost 19K. Now, some of you are like, well, yeah, but what about the passives of other characters like Dr. Octopus, which is 15%? Okay, let's look at that real quick before we jump to other stats, because I've already been having some conversations talking about this. This right here is, so it's 22,000 damage, or 21.8, with the Doc Op boost of 15%. So it's question is, who has that high a damage in the game? So I've got this sorted for damage right now. I lost my partner. Apparently spreadsheets are boring. I'll tell you what, six-year-olds these days, no patience. So what did I say it was, Electro? 21.8 damage. Number one rank damage in the game is Black Bull at 21.4. So that means with Doc Ock, Electro has the highest damage in the game. I'm assuming Black Bolt doesn't have any damage boosts coming from somebody else, right? Um, in fairness, I normally don't factor those in, but uh, Electro being so specific, I at least wanted to mention it. That is a critical stat for her, and uh, I wanted to mention the fact that that gets her to the top rank damage in the game. You're gonna want her pretty strong in this because of the fact that she's going to be your by far monster damage dealer all right next up armor comes in at 78 again kind of midway so she's pretty squished there 74 52 uh focus this is pretty low too um but honestly i'm not sure i care that much it wasn't really mentioned about and you know we're talking about clear and positive effects so uh, you know that could factor in a little bit uh 60 75 Resistance is actually super good at 22, 74, 56. Her speed at 120 is 17th in the game, so she's pretty quick, which I really like that. And then like I would mentioned, uh, the overall average rank in the game is 49, as far as the stats. She's the 20th ranked character in the game. Very good character. You wanna get high reds on her. Uh, personally, I'll probably try to open a couple of elites that I got saved up, hope I get some on her. We'll see. Uh, and then, you know, the characters that are buff here, Ironheart, Sinister, Ronin thing, those are a little bit surprising. But Emma and Hela, you know, she's not far off from some of these other characters. You know, if you really look here, 
you know, all the way up to really Ebony Maw or Ghost Rider, it's between 40 and 49, that, that chunk there. Those are all pretty similar stats. And then, you know, Ultron, Black Bolt, Dr. Octopus, spoiler alert, uh, and then Dark Phoenix. So, yeah, she's, uh, she's pretty solid. Uh, pretty happy with what I'm seeing stat-wise. You know, again, the T4s, you know, ultimate without a doubt. You know, jumping back to that for just one second. You know, passive. Yeah, you like you like that 100% uh, boost there on the uh, the passive for the the damage to the most injured. Granted, it only happens when she's five charged, so it's probably like I'll probably have a hard time saying that's a central. I'll probably just say it's the orange category, which I think is really good. The the ultimate I mentioned, yeah, for sure, special, not too bad, basic, but yeah, the ultimate and then maybe passive. So. That's what I got for Electro. Uh, let's do a quick outro. My assistant still doesn't want to be in the outro, so you're stuck with just me. I already kind of said it, but Electro is going to make things happen for the Sinister Six. If you plan on having these guys on war defense, or for whatever reason, maybe war offense, uh, she's going to be critical. You want her built up, you want her high. Hope to get red stars, hope to get, you know, four ish, five of stars on her to start, unless you're spending money and watch her do some damage. You know, they're not gonna, unless you get six, seven stars, you're probably not gonna be really holding a ton of defensive wins down. But I'd focus on get her, getting her. She definitely seems to be Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful day. You better shape up.